So, you want to start on your Presse graphic novel collection. Or, you just want to complete your Presse collection. Well, came to the right place. Let us here at Project Sage help you start and complete your Presse collection. Now, if this is your kind of content, give us a like and subscribe. We missed anything in our list? Be sure to let us know down in the comments. Plus, a giveaway announcement before the end. Let's begin! So, graphic novels are the easiest way to start. Let me check my Cresce treasure chest. So, seven novels. Seven. Seven, two, three. Ah, this is four and five in their exclusive National Bookstore dust jacket. Uh, I assure you, they have four and five inside the covers. Then you have dresses six. latest crisis 7 so yeah having this and you're already a long way in your own dress collection however this whisper editions are out of print and they will be collector's items soon enough but you're in luck because the new publisher is going to re reissue everything under the Avenida trade dress and they will also print the 8th and 9th editions so in 2021 expect the first three volumes of Trece from Avenida next in our Trece main stories yeah the graphic novels contain the main stories ever is in here it's canon you have this collection of short stories that appeared in the Tracy blog has new art by Keijo, stories from the Diabolical. Interestingly enough, they indicated here one. So they were actually planning and uh, printing uh, or publishing more than one volume. I wonder what happened. Another of the whispered of our whispered goodness are these three. Full color. Tracy comics of the first three uh, Tracy stories. So, case one, so Canton of Baleti Drive, or at the intersect. This is the this is in Filipino, it's in full color. Although we also have extra material included, some pinups. Nice. We also have a sort of checklist. The these are in Filipino, however, okay, and they just they just include the first three stories. This is book two, first appearance of Maliksi, the Tikbala. This is in better condition. Oh, so race full color. I haven't opened this one yet. Maybe later. This is uh, number three. So those are the main graphic novels. Whatever is in this scanner. Now the ash cans. Now ash cans or smaller comics done uh, using the uh, published using the pub photocopier with saddle stitching or saddle stapling. These were the this was the first format street dress stories were actually sold in. Now these are rare, really rare. In fact, I only have a few of them actually have only four and they are like every Tracy story actually has an uh, Ashcan equivalent now they were usually sold in conventions like Comic-Con 2Ks but the pandemic took care of that so no more conventions no more sales of these Ashcans however all of those almost all of those stories are collected in the graphic novels in fact personally i prefer them that way hence i don't actually have that's why kind of explains why my ash cans aren't aren't that extensive they're in a smaller format and 
the art here is actually a bit rough until they are finished or finalized in the graphic novel but that actually gives you a in-process look of your favorite work now I said almost all right because there are still some stressy stories that only exist either as ash cans and then uh, posted in the Tressy blog I'll share the link to the blog in the descriptions if you're into Tresse, that's a very valuable resource it has a lot of original material regarding Tresse. So anyway I'm digressing I only have one present present to 13 or present present 13 featuring the police allies or especially the detachment under uh, Guerrero the police captain it's a staunch ally of uh, Crece there are four stories this is midnight patrol but there's three more a domestic disturbance premeditation and calling the parents of a little girl in a blue dress I only have one of them because I was confident that they were actually going to release a collected version of it but it's been several years now it's gonna be 10 years soon and neither had aware of if it's there is if it's there gonna be a collected version but they are hosted in the Trece blog so if you want to read them they're there okay so those are the ash cats then you have international editions Trece Netflix Netflix means they're getting an international audience they actually have a foreign publisher so but first off the first time that Trece went global this is the Trece One Global Edition now this is actually a crowdfunding exclusive okay only available if you're a backer Trece One Exclu uh, Global Edition in it the artist Keijo finished really his work almost redrew I think I think he basically redrew it redrew the stories introducing some uh, removing anachronisms like I think they're not using the fax machine anymore or a pager and yeah they're only they're, they're comic book size standard American comic book size but there actually exists an Ashken version of it and they were sold in the local shops exclusive uh, Phil Bars and Comic Odyssey exclusive to them so maybe they still have copies of it it's worth finding out now the other international edition is the volume one by Ablaze okay Ablaze is their international publisher and when they launched the first volume of the book they had two flavors of the cover you had a standard and you had a regular I mean not regular exclusive version so a pro exclusive variant so I probably put pictures of them I didn't get them because most of the stories were already here in the graphic novels for me but the thing about them is they're actually like regular comic size so they're they're larger so you can see Keiju's art better but this is just for me personal preference though and then okay that's your international editions then you have the Avenida years so when this print ceased to be a going concern so Trese had to find a new home and that new home is uh, Avenida Books now the first book that Avenida first Trese book released is this Trese Light this is actually a postcard book but it's more of a mini art book mini art book okay so it's basically mini art book with detachable uh, pages and you can frame them but only if only if you can bear tearing them apart so for now I'm keeping them and keeping mine intact but it's really a nice book the second book that they released is this Tresse Bloodlines 
Tressive Bloodlines. Now, Tressive Bloodlines is an anthology featuring stories from other storytellers other than the two creators. The two creators being um, Bujetan and Kijo Bolisimo. They invited their friends there and anyone who's interested to tell uh, Tressy stories or other stories set in the Tressy universe. So most of them also exist in Ashkan. Most of them, okay? But since they're collected here, personally, I don't need to find them anymore. So they're here. Tressy bloodlines. Let's go to the rarities. This is gonna be yeah, this is gonna be hard so when it comes to rarities let's talk about those that exist as hard copies because there are actually online original stories also remember they have a blog okay a Tracy blog some of those made the junk to print but some of them remain but we're not talking about that we're just gonna talk those so that have actually physical uh, books that you could uh, touch or be part of your collection and believe me when I say rarities I'm not kidding because I don't even have some of these books or magazines for that matter we'll start with Rogue Magazine Philippine Edition I'll post a picture here okay October 2009 it contains the, stro the story Tracy Masquerade original story by Budget Tat and Mark Torres so Time to dive into those bins of back issue magazines. Next is yeah, I have one with here. This is Underpass, and this is a graphic anthology featuring other creators, but notably it has the clinic. This is a Bujetan and by Bujetan and Kanjo Baldissimo. It's set in the Tresi universe, but it doesn't really say there but it's in but the existence of this story is implied in another story here on these books so that is uh, it's set in the Tressa universe so title is the clinic underpass yeah this is a signed copy next up yeah okay, this one also is a rarity I've only seen this one posted in the blog just it's complete their songs of the Lewenry Farewell to Pain was actually released for part of Free Comic Book Day 2010. I haven't seen one. It's a trusty appearance. And Captain Guerrero too. Okay, next. Okay, I don't have this one. Alternative Alamath Anthology contains the story Last Full Show. Fortunately, that story is contained, it's actually contained here. So, I'm covered. Okay. Then you have Abangan, The Best of Philippine Comics 2014, and Manila Noir. I don't have Manila Noir, but I have Abangan. This contains the story uh, 13 stations. Let's see. It. Let me show you. It's a complete Tracy story. Guerrero, Tracy, can you see that? So. Now the 13th station is actually also in Tracy 7. So I'm also covered. Just in case I do have this. This is a nice anthology by the way, featuring some Filipino comic uh, cartoonist. It's a good book to have too. And yeah, they're in the cover. Here's one of the Kambal. There is the other Kambal. Then you have Philippine Daily Inquirer, May 4, 2013 edition. The story is Encanto in the City. I'll show you the front page. I vaguely recall reading this. I think this is a special issue for either comic, Summer Comic Con or Free Comic Book Day. I really recall reading this. Okay, next is Tresse Ambush. I also don't have this. This is a crossover featuring Tresse and Ambush by Andrew Villar. This is in the this is in the 2012 Free Comic Book Day Comics anthology. Now, be, this being a story written by Bujetan. Certainly an import uh, an important stress story to have too. 
Okay, then I have this. I haven't seen this in the list online. This is the comics come by Comics All Star by Comic X Hub. This was released also for comic free comic book day. What it has is actually there. That's a Tracy 5 preview. It's like an Ashcat. And the thing is it's oversized. This is, this is standard comic book size. And another thing, you have Trese here in a swimsuit in a cover done by Carlo Vergara. Comics All-Star by Comics X-Hub. We're going to go into a key crossover. This is, uh, this, this is Skyworld, okay? In it, Trese has a key, is a key supporting character along with the Kambal. And this is the graphic novel, novel edition of Skyworld. This is by uh, Mervyn Ignacio and Ian Santa Maria. Okay, so Trese here has a key role. And one thing, you think it's just plain crossover, but let's look at the credits. And here you go. Edited by Bujetat. So uh, Bujetat gets editing credits. So meaning, it can be you can you can be assured that Trese here acts like Trese because Bud, uh, Budget is actually there to guide this book. She's here. Let me see. Let me show you a pic of uh, an older Trese. Yeah, there you go. She's actually a key character. She appears in the books, but aside from the graphic novel. You, they were actually re released as singles sky world singles now there are four books but the fourth book was was released as part of volume two but these were the original singles man they are really good looking books we were tracing company in the cover yeah i think they were I'm not too sure anyway and then for my own list of rarities I have submit for your consideration Quintilion. In it is a story by Keijo and Budget, the last dato. Also, Alamat imprint now. Overtly, this, is, this isn't a Tresi story. It's set in a far off future. But the thing about it is by the Tresi theme, right? And this, it isn't actually done by this print with summit books their second book with uh, one of the aside from this print they did a lot of work with summit now since it's set in the far future and it's by the Tresi team i can see it being easily retconned as part of a Tresi alternate co uh, alternate continuity so it's easy to slice the art style the themes of the story makes it easy to slide into all an alternate Tresse continuity so try to get one okay, those are my rarities so but of course for any collection you're going to have the crown jewel the piece and this is for any Tresse collection the crown jewel the centerpiece will always be Book of Murders, the hardcover featuring or collecting the first three books. It, there are only like a thousand copies of this. So yeah, these are these things are rare and quite in demand. This print, right? They longer exist, so yeah, they're terribly out of print. This one. Good luck finding one. So I already got one. So try your luck finding the other 999 copies. Now you've reached the point where I announce a giveaway. To help you build your own Tresi collection, Project Sage is giving away this out of print Tresi 5 with an exclusive national bookstore just cover it's still in the shrink wrap it's still an open 
And all you have to do to join the giveaway is subscribe, like, and comment the vid comment to the video on YouTube. Comment your favorite Cresce story. It's, this is optional, but add us on social media in Facebook or Twitter so that we can contact you when you win. But you don't have to. But it will be convenient for you if you win. So subscribe, like, and comment the video, and comment with your favorite press stories. That's all it takes for you to win this rare auto print press five. Now I'm limiting this giveaway for the Philippines only, but fear not, the worldwide manga giveaway is coming this month. So keep an eye to this channel for details. And that's my take on collecting crescent. I'm in the process of completing my own collection as well. If you think I should include another work on the list, let me know in the comments. Till then, this is Project Sage and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.